All right, so the next tool, uh, now we know how to bend. Let's say you want to go ahead and twist something. So you want to twist it so you get more lines or jagged edges or anything at all that you want to twist or bend. So we'll stick with the same cube and we'll click on this and go ahead to the twist function. Okay, Cicely, paying attention? Mm -hmm. All right. So in this way, we're going to go ahead and do the twist. The same exact thing. Make sure the area that encompasses what you want to twist is in within that box, and you can move that box around based on what you want to do. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take the twist and put it as a child to the parent cube. So now that's the child, and I can go ahead and add the twist so I can go ahead and twist it as I see fit. Now, it's not really twisting as good as I want. Am I correct, guys? Yes. Look at that. Okay, so the exact same issue. So I'm gonna go to my cube and add different segments onto the cube. So, you see how beautiful that is? And I can go ahead back to my cube and I can go ahead and increase that amount. And I can increase it way, if, let's say I'm trying to get a, a screw. If I'm trying to get a really fine screw, let's go 1000, right? So you can get that and uh, maybe a little bit less and you could refine it maybe add some more segments so it can handle the edginess so you can get something like that and then I could always but you can see how that would look when you edge it, it looks really really nice and smooth when you have enough segments and then you could actually go ahead and reduce the twist as you see fit so now you can edge it So it depends on what you want to do. So you want to add something with just one twist. You want to add a screw. You want to make it bend and rotate. So you get something like that. Now you know how to do it. Isn't that beautiful? So that's the same exact steps. Let's go ahead and render that. Boom. There you go. Okay. And if let's say you like it and you know that's it, then you can go ahead and current state to object. Remember. And then you can go ahead and take that off. Now you want to go ahead and bend it. Then you can go ahead and add a bend. And then you parent that to that. It already has good segments, so you can automatically go ahead and bend. And I can just grab that and just bend it this way, bend it that way. Got it? Okay, let's go ahead and try.